up, freaks! It is time for boxing. Today is going to be, of, of course, you know it's always a virtual boxing. Today is literally going to be virtual boxing. You're going to have to react to actual punch mitts, knowing what punch to throw at what time. So today is the time, even if you have a bag, you can do this on a bag if you're able to see the camera at the same time. But you're literally going to be reacting to a fist or to a mitt that's on your screen. So for the most part, I'm going to be this close the entire time so it's a little closer for you to see. I'm not going to be throwing this water jug at you, but that just reminds you the importance of staying freaking hydrated. All right, we're going to get ready to roll. We're going to go through our warm-up, of course. And our warm-up is actually going to be pretty simple. Going through the basic punches, but you're actually going to start them with just single punches on the mitts just to get you loosened up. So again, always remember to stay in your stance. If you're right-handed, your left leg will be forward, your right leg will be back up, and a slight bend in your knees, a little bounce in your step. Your hands will always be up, because this, this workout, you're not going to be seeing my legs much. So I'll still give you the cues for the right technique for your punches. So all you need is your gloves today. You don't even need your bag. If you want to add some intensity to it, go without gloves and hold two little light dumbbells, or two water bottles. Voice is a little froggy today. Had a couple of events this weekend and all day Saturday, a, a 16 hour program for father and son's program. And then all day Sunday was a 14 hour bike ride, 130 miles down the coast through all the beach towns of California. So voice is a little off, but we're here making it happen. So let's start your basic punches. So you know your one is your lead hand. Your lead hand, for most of you, your right handed, your lead hand is your Left-handed, it's a one, turning your fist over. So you're gonna throw a one actually at this target, only when I put the target up there. So if I say a one, you don't throw it till pop, it's there. I'll say one, pop. And you're gonna meet that target when you see it on your screen. I'm gonna be pretty close this entire time so you can actually have a target to hit. It may be a little bit to the side sometimes. Wherever it is, if it's high, if it's low, that's where your one is gonna be. So we're gonna get this warm up is gonna get you started getting used to reacting to these mitts, how to punch only when you see your target. So we'll be here and I'll say one, pop, then I'll give it to you. You'll pop right in, don't punch your TV screen or your phone, but you'll punch exactly where you see that target. So let's start off with a one, nice and slow and simple. I'll keep it centered one at a time, but listen, just cause you're punching the air doesn't mean you're not working. You're still here, light on your feet, you're bouncing, your energy is moving, you're ready. Cause we're gonna be doing some defense, you're gonna be slipping punches, ducking punches, countering, doing several punch combinations, but we're gonna start off getting warmed up just to get you accustomed to reacting to these mitts. This is gonna be like real, real virtual boxing. All right, so let's start with a one, simple stuff. One you know is your straight left, so one, only when you see your target, one, pop, there it is. One, pop, one, pop. If you know what's coming, I don't even have to call it out. Now you're just going to wait till you see the target. Giving them nice and center, close and up front for you. You see that, that mitt. You don't punch till you see the mitt. Pop. One. Pop it. See, now I put it out to the side there. If it's out to this side, pop. One. Just a single punch. Right now, all you're doing is pop. But you need to be ready. You need to be ready to react, right, when you see it. One. That's a little lower and to the side. Wherever it is, you're throwing that one. Pop, pop it. You need to stay up, you need to stay alert, you need to stay focused this entire time. Pop, one. Boom, that one's right in your face, dig it. One, simple stuff, right? It's just getting you used to reacting to the target. Cause you don't, if I just said, okay, let's practice your one and you just sat there and just throw it out on your own, it's not really too realistic. I want you to have to use your nervous system a little different so that you have to react quickly and still get a full speed punch on target, depending on, you don't know where it is, when it's gonna be. We're going nice and slow and deliberate here in the beginning, but later on, we're gonna be mixing up everything we're working on today where you just have to react, depending on what hand I'm holding, how am I holding the hand. So now I start with a two. We know our two is our straight right, pivoting your right foot, your rear hand, right hand, throw to straight right, which is your two. Two, right there, pop, two, two. Just wait for that target, when you see that target come up, Boom, you see that tight, that that title MMA is where you're aiming, right there in the pocket. Two, pop, two, turn into it, pop, right into it, turn your body. Wait till it's there, two, two. I'm 
giving you different angles, so you're having to aim, whether it's high or low, wherever you see it. Two. Down into the corner. Two. Up high. Two. A little lower. Two. Sometimes it's just dead centers. You're pivoting. Boom. And you're just waiting. You're here. Full of energy. Boom. So you can react depending on where it is. Aim to where it is. Boom. If you're on a TV screen, if you can hook up your, your tablet, computer to a TV screen, even better. Pop. Boom. Two. Two. So get used to when you're seeing the flat here. That's a one and that's a two. All right, we're going to go to a three. You need to pay attention. Three is when I put this glove up, you're throwing a left hook at it. Three is right here. Your left hook. So your opposite. Actually, Facebook is showing this reverse. So right here, left hook. Three. Right here. Boom. So it's sideways is a three. Boom. So wait a minute. Facebook is showing this reverse. That would be your four. So all right, we're going to go three over here. We're going to have to do everything backwards because Facebook is showing your reverse. Not even thinking about that. So that's a three, left hook. Right here, three. So you go back right there into a left hook. Boom, left hook. So if you're seeing this glove come out sideways, you're seeing that white on this side, that means you're turning into a left hook, right? Left hook. Three. Three. So I'm giving you a side target to come around and whack it. You need to react to it. So you need to be ready. You need to be ready. The second I say, boom, you need to snap it out there. Full, turning your whole body into an elbows bent 90 degrees, moving parallel to the ground. Go. Three. Pop it. Three, again, it's gonna be high and low. Three. Try and be very deliberate with the way it is. Sideways, three, so you see that white. Three. Pop it, pop it. Boom, left hook. Left hook, let's go right away to our right hook on this side. So actually those ones and twos, now that I'm realizing, we're gonna to have to reverse those also, so that might've been off for you, but that's all right. Three, now we're on four, right hook. So it's a right hook. Your right arm, elbow up and out, 90 degrees. Four, boom. So you see this sideways. Four. Move around, flow around, get some movement in between. Four, snap it. It's just getting you practice with your regular basic punches, but it's getting you in tune with reacting to your environment. Four. Hands up. Four. I'm gonna keep this hand down just so you're not distracted by whatever else is there. So you know this single punch that's coming. Four, right hook. Right hook, wherever it is, it's on the side. You need to aim it. So sometimes you might have to be over here, sometimes up high, sometimes a little lower. Wherever the hand is on that screen is where you're aiming. Four. Four. Pop. And time. All right, we're going to go with a five. So now when you see this upside down right here, it's going to be right here for you. Make it pretty obvious. I'm holding it right here, and that's going to be five, which is your left uppercut, your lead hand uppercut. All right? Five. Boom. So you need to be just crunching. Boom. Lead hand uppercut. Crunch. That's your five. Your lead hand uppercut. Go. Five. It's just pretty obvious when it's there. But it might be high. It might be low. It might be down here. So aim for it. Whether it's boom. Angle wherever you see that target. Five. Five. Hands up in between. Wait for that target. Five. All right, it's going to come without any verbal, no verbal commands, just boom. You know what? It's a five right now. It's all we're on. So pop it in there. Pop. Boom. Right there. Five. Oh, yeah. Boom. And right into a six. Six is our rear hand uppercut. Six is our rear hand uppercut. So right here is going to be our six. Let's go. Let me see a six. Pop it in there. Wait for the target. Wait for the opening. Boom. Wait for the command. Six. Pump it. Wherever that target is, you got to aim. So if you see it up high, it's up here. If you see it down low, it's, you need to angle down here. So you need to crunch. Your target is going to be moving. No one's face is going to chase your fist. Your fist needs to chase their face. Six. Pop it. So when you see it straight up and down, six. That's up. You know, that's uppercuts. This is lead hand uppercut. Boom. Or sorry, rear, rear hand uppercut is our six. Six. Maybe you see that hand there. Pop it. Boom. Bang it, bang it, bang it. Crunch into it. Boom. Remember, keep your hands up at all times. Six. Put it in there. I'm giving you that target. You just got to know where to aim. You got to aim it. Chase it. Boom. All right. Time. Shake that out for a second. Right now, I'm just going to switch into gloves. While I'm switching gloves, I want you just doing regular jumping jacks. So you're not just standing there. Jumping jacks. 
while I'm switching to actual gloves from the mitts. You're doing jacks. Now you're gonna practice your defense, your slips and your ducks, and then we're gonna combine the two together. You're still jacking, you're still jacking, just while I'm switching gloves for you. All right, on straight slips, all you're doing is if I'm throwing this outside, right right here, your left straight, you wanna slip that way. You wanna end up on the outside. So look, if I miss that, look, I'm wide open here and wide open here. If I throw this and you slip inside, I'm protected on this side. So you wanna slip outside. So all you're gonna do is take your head and move it one head's distance to the side, bend your waist, slip. Slipping right there, that direction. When I throw this, punch. So you're slipping outside this straight punch. Slip. Wait for the punch. So you need to be here. You need to be bouncing around so you can flow into your slip. Wait for the punch. Slip. Slip. Slip outside of it. Pop. Wait for it to come. Punch is coming. You need to move out of the way. Slip. Remember, you're slipping that way. Boom. Right out of the way. Slip. Turn, turn, get out of the way. Bend the waist quick and sharp to get out of the way. While your hands are up, your hands are staying up while you're slipping to that side, outside of this straight punch. Hands up, slipping to the side. We're just getting all these movements warmed up, getting used to these virtual punches coming at you. Don't let it hit you in the face. Boom, so you're too slow on that one. You got popped, bloody nose, you better move. Unless you got a good dental plan, you're gonna eat one of these. All right, now we're going with a straight with this side. So when I come straight here, bam, you're gonna slip that way. So lean your head now this way to get out of the punch. You wanna get outside that punch, because look, then I'm wide, exposed on that side. On this inside part, I'm protected. So slip outside when you see this straight punch coming. It's coming at you. Get outside. Slip, slipping that way, don't forget. Wait for it to come. Slip. Move out. Boom. Wait for it to come. Don't fall for a fake. Boom. Oh, you got caught with that one because you flinched for the fake. You need to have your body moving so you can commit to it when you slip. Get outside of it. Get outside of it. Full speed. Don't just stand flat footed. You're going to get hit with every, every one. You're not going to have enough time to get out of the way. Slip outside. All right, let's do it. Now we're going to go to ducks. I'm going to throw big, wide hooks at you. You're going to duck underneath it. So this first, I'm throwing this hook right here. You're going to duck and come up on this side. So think about this duck coming. Your face is right here. This duck is coming. You're going to dip underneath it. So you just... A V shape, like an angled squat. Duck underneath it, right there. Duck that way, underneath, and pop up. Swoop down, using your legs, just like an angled squat. Think of like a V shaped squat to get underneath this punch. Wait for that punch to come, wait for that hook. Making them pretty deliberate. See how I'm moving around? You need to be moving around, have your energy, you're flowing already. Get underneath it, underneath. Drop, drop, dip underneath. V shape. You're ducking under this hook. Think about it. This punch, whatever speed this punch is coming in, your, your duck needs to be just as fast or even faster. Or else you're going to get hit. You're going to get clipped by it. Get underneath. Duck it, duck it, duck it. Ducking under that hook. All right, throwing the hook on this side. You're going to duck that way now. So as this hook is coming, this is your face. This, duck, this hook is coming. You're going to duck down right up on that weak side. So look, once I miss, look at this, I'm wide open, bam, bam. So you're gonna duck underneath this punch. <sighs> Ducking that way, <sighs> right underneath there, using your legs, just like that. Just swoop, pumping those legs up, getting those quads ready to move and defend. <sighs> Giving you pretty deliberate punches for you to duck underneath. <sighs> Boom, get underneath it. Get underneath, hands up. Remember, use your legs, you're just coming down and up, 
underneath this punch and then back up for you to counter punch. You're gonna go to counter punches in a second. Underneath. Duck, boom, underneath. Keep going underneath it, underneath it, boom. There it is. Use your legs, don't, don't just lean over at the waist. Look, my, my eyes are up the whole time so I can see the target. You're ducking in a V shape. Make sure you're going underneath that punch. Underneath it. Yes. All right. You're going to let's put jumping jacks again right here. Regular jumping jacks while I get switched back to the mitts. Regular jumping jacks like a switch to mitts. Keep jumping, keep jumping. We are just getting rolling. We're going to go to two punch combos here on the mitts. I'm going to show you what the combo, call the combo, what it looks like. You'll throw it when you see the targets arrive, and I'll call them out. I'll call out the combos. We're going to start real simple. Two punch combos. It's all about reaction today. It's all about reflexes, reaction, situational awareness, and just being ready. Laser beam focus. Because listen, you're, you're, you're brawling there in the parking lot of freaking Walmart. You don't get to choose when you throw your punches. That person, again, face ain't going to chase your fist for your one-two. Your one-two needs to chase their face. And that's exactly where we start with, a one-two. So don't forget. Well, we got to go opposite here because of... That really doesn't matter here for the straights. So let's go one, two. One, two. So just put those two together. Just a one, two, go. Only when I call it and when you see the target. Let's go. One, two. Pop, pop. So it's just boom, boom. Right down the middle. One, two. Let's see it. One, two. Give me that target. Right there, you know it's a one. And boom, time it to hit smack on the target when it's there. Not at your speed. You have to go to the speed of your target, right? Let's go. One, two. Pop it, pop it, pop it. One, two. Hit those mitts. And it's gonna be different angles, not gonna be in the same place. So you should be aiming. Maybe your one, two is gonna be over here. You need to be ready. Oh, it's there. Maybe it's down low. One, two. Pop it wherever I'm showing you that. One, two. Go, keep up. You gotta, re you gotta react. You gotta react. So you gotta be light on your feet with a bounce in your step. One, two. One, two. Let's go. One, two. Shh, shh. Breathe it out when you're punching it. Shh, shh. Let's move. One, two. Move around. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Just one, two. Shh, shh. Easy stuff. One, two. One, two. Down low in the middle. Up high in the middle. To the side. One, two. Other side. One, two. High to the corner. One, two. High to the other corner. One, two. Low in the corner. One, two. Low the other corner. One, two. Time. All right, we're going to right into a three, four. A left hook, right hook. It's keeping it very simple for you. So it's just boom, boom, three, four. So it's just going to be here, here, three, four, right? As you're coming around from the side, you'll crack it with your three. I'll put this one up, you'll crack it with your four. Your lead hook, and then your rear hook. Three, four. Let's see it. Three, four. Quick. Three, four. Only when you see him pop up. Shh, shh. Shh, shh. Three, four. Three, four. Only when you see the targets. I'm not going to say anything now. I need you to respond with a three, four in the same direction that you see him pop up. that boom boom meet that mitt three four left hook right hook or lead hook rear hook only when you see the target only when you see it follow me around follow me around boom boom follow me and good we're going right into a five six just getting the base out of the way getting you used to reacting to other person's movements and, and situation. Let's go, five, six. So five, six is lead uppercut, rear uppercut. It's just five, six. Only when I show you the target. So it's gonna be a five, six. Wait for that target, right? So if my head was moving, your one, two would have to follow the head. Let's do it, five, six, five, six, hit it. You see me moving, so you know I'm gonna have to be over here somewhere. So be prepared, move, either move, with me across your phone or 
just turn and pivot to go into that angle. Whatever works. But you need to be moving non-stop. Let's go. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Only where those mitts are. It's up high in the corner. That's where you're aiming. Five, six. Five, six. Five, six. Breathe it out. Uppercuts. Five, six. Five, six. Boom, boom. Breathe it out. You're on a five, six. Left uppercut, right uppercut. Lead uppercut, rear uppercut. Boom, boom. Let's see it. You're moving around with me. Constant movement. Only when you see the targets come in and you're punching. In between that, you need to have a bounce and flow. Look at this. This is in between how you should be looking here. Right here, ready to go. So it's when you see that target come up. Let's roll. Five, six. Move, move, move. React to it. React to it only when you see it. Only when you see it. Five, six. React. Boom, boom. Time. You're going back to jacks, dumb and jacks. While we switch back to the gloves. So we're going to go two pieces on the defense, just like we did single punch, single defense. We just did double punch. Now we're going to double defense. That just means slip, slip, and duck, duck. Putting them together, but responding, reacting to the punches coming at you. So you only can only slip and duck in the appropriate direction. Two at a time here. All right. So you know before we were going here and you were slipping that way, right? Then when you saw this punch coming, you slipped that way. So we're going to put it two straights together. We're going to keep it very structured and simple for you for now. So I'm going to throw a, a, a two straight punches. One, two. So that means you're going to slip here, then slip here, right? Because you want to get outside this one. Then I throw this. You want to get outside that one. So boom, boom, and just slip outside. So just slip, slip, bend that waist. You need to have a bounce in your step so you can move. If you're just flat-footed, it's going to be hard to slip in time. You're going to get clipped with every single one of those punches. So let's roll. Slip, slip. Only when you see the punches. When are they coming? When are they coming? See, I'm moving. I'm moving to, to fake you out a little bit and boom, boom. Move outside. Just slip, slip. Follow me across the screen. So I'm over here. You should be moving over here with me. Right down the middle. So you're just on slip, slip. That's it. Simple stuff. Slipping that way first, and then that way. Turn into it. Get your waist into it, your body, your, your hips leaning. That's how you're slipping. Just reacting to my punches, so it's going to keep you. Have to make you stay on your toes this entire time. You don't get to do it on your terms. You do it only when the punches are coming at you. Big difference. Lay on your feet. Boom, boom, right down the middle. That head moving side to side. Boom. Reacting to me, waiting for me. You better stay up, you better stay nervous. You better be nervous, you better be bouncing. You should be sweating, just waiting for the punches. Ha, ha, so you're ready to roll and get the highway of those punches. Like right there, pop, caught you off guard, distracted you with some babbling. And you fell for that shit. Come on. Right down the middle. Boom. Right there. Boom. And time. Next is going to be duck, duck. So I'm coming this side first with a hook. Then this time I'm going to go nice and wide and looping ducks. This will give you a nice big target to get underneath. So when I throw this one, you're going to duck underneath here. Then I come right across with this, you're going to just swoop underneath that one. So all you're doing is duck, duck, side to side, underneath. So get underneath that one, go slow motion first, and then right away underneath that one. The V shape. So you're just going to be here, up, down, up on the opposite side. So at an angle, angle, V shape to get underneath both of those ducks. Let's see it. Duck, duck, reset. Wait for those punches. Wait for the punches. Duck, duck. The fist is coming at your dome, right to your jaw, your ear, your temple. You better duck. 
duck. I'm giving it nice and wide and sloppy and loopy for you to give you a big chance to get underneath. Those punches are coming at you. They're coming at your face. Duck, duck. Wait for it. You don't know what rhythm it's going to be on. You don't know when it's going to come. You don't know what angle, direction it's coming from. As I'm moving side to side on your screen, you should be moving side to side also. Shh, shh. Not just staying flat-footed. Even if it's just two steps over. Shh, shh. And while you're moving across, you're ready to react and duck if you have to. Shh, shh. You might be moving and a punch comes at you. Move. You got to plant your feet and get under. Right? Get underneath those. Get underneath. Shh, shh. Duck, duck. Boom. Boom. Get under. Get under. Get under. Shh. Moving. Couple more. Couple more. Wait for the punch. You don't know when it's coming. You don't know when it's coming. I might be just relaxing, making you think I'm tired. And then, boom, boom, for you to have to get under. Or you get knocked the F out if you don't get underneath there. Keep moving. Get under. Ha. Ha. Boom. Boom. And time. Now we're going back to the slips. Just the other way first. So I'm going to throw a straight and a straight here. You're just going to slip to this way first and then that way. Right? So just slip, slip. Respond to these punches. Outside the punches. So you're going slip, you're going that way, right? Now when I throw this one, you're going that way. So it's just slip, slip. Get out of the way, that fist is coming straight at your face. Boom, boom, we're gonna start nice and slow and deliberate, right down the middle of the screen, and then we'll move around and get into it. Slip, slip, get out of the way of that punch. Don't forget, you're slipping this way first, and then all the way over this way, angling out of, outside of that straight punch. Switch, slip. Switching sides. Hands up. When you move, your hands move with your face. In case you do get clipped, you're still protecting your face. Protect your dome at all times. All right, we're going to move around a little bit. A little less of a pattern. So you don't know what's coming. You don't know when it's coming. Move around with me on the floor. Move across that screen. If you're on a phone, look. I'm just on this. I'm using a phone, too. I'm on this side. One, two, three. Three and a half steps. Get me over to the other side. Oh, I distracted you with some nonsense and caught you right in the lip. Slip outside. Bam, bam. Move with me. Stay with me. Stay right in front of me. Move with me across the screen. Even if you're just on a camera. Still take those steps over. Slip, slip. Slip out of the way of those punches. You're going to get freaking punched. Keep those hands up. You don't know when it's coming. Ooh, that might be a fake to then set up the real thing. You just got caught again. Keep your damn hands up. If you're like me, you cannot afford to have any more damage to your face. Right down the middle. Hands up. Slip, slip. Couple more. Slip, slip. And boom, boom. Time. We're going right away to the ducks, just the other direction. So now you're going to duck underneath this side and then duck underneath this side. So you're ducking here and then here. Just duck duck let's roll get underneath it nice and slow and deliberate to get into the flow duck duck get under duck duck get under hands are coming at your face you better get underneath it boom boom it's gonna rattle your damn cage duck duck ducking underneath that punch right there duck duck yes hands up move around let's move around now Underneath it. Underneath. Duck and duck. Whenever it comes at you. Hands up, hands up. Duck and duck. Get under. Get under. Duck. Duck. Come on. Come on. Bang it. A few more. A few more. A few more. Get under, get under. Don't forget, you're ducking with your legs in a V-shape. Your hands still stand up at your guard. Get underneath, underneath. Move around. Duck, 
duck. Boom. Boom. There it is. There it is. All right, we're going to go back to the mitts. You're on jumping jacks, jumping jacks, non-stop jumping jacks while I'm getting the mitts on. We're gonna switch to the mitts now for three punch combinations. Responding to the way I'm holding the mitts. I'm going to call it out so you don't have to worry about it. Three punch combinations. You'll know exactly what's coming, but you need to aim at the mitts exactly how and where the direction, position, you see them on screen. So if that target is here, you're aiming here. If it's here, you're aiming here. We have center. We have center high, center low. We have left middle, right middle, left high, left low, right high, right low, or whatever side that is. So you worry about the target. Don't worry about, don't just punch anywhere. You need to aim at your target. If their head is over here, you need to punch here. You can't just always get used to punching right there in the center, right? Head is here and you punch in the center, you're gonna miss by a foot and a half. The body shot is open here on, the, on this side of my ribs. But you're throwing this side and I'm protected. What good is that? So you need to be re ready to respond and react to what's available to you, what's open, so you can exploit those weaknesses and those openings and make an opportunity out of it. Let's go. So we're gonna start with a one, two, three. So just you're gonna throw a straight, straight, left hook. Straight, left, straight, right, left hook. So just a one, two, three, all right? At my hands, let's go. One, two, three, bam, bang it. One, two, three. Straight, straight, hook. Wait for the target, wait for the target. Shh, shh, shh. Aim at that target where you see it. One, two, three. One, two, three, respond, respond. One, two, three. One, two, Three, you need to move. Move with me. Ooh, aim wherever it is, wherever those targets are. Look, one, two could be over here. Maybe three is here. Because maybe that target's moving. Don't think you're always just going to punch straight like we do in our bag. That's the point of using these mitts. It gets more realistic, more dynamic. You need to respond to where it is. Just hit these hands and you see it. One, two, three. Boom, boom. Three. Aim at it. One, two, three. One up here. Two is going to be over here. Three in the center. Let's practice that. This is in those exact angles. Boom, boom, boom. Right there. We're not going to move around. We're going to keep it right there for you. Shh, shh, shh. Bang, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three. One, two, three. Respond you see it. We're going to be those same angles. We're not going to go until that one sparks you off. Let's go. There it is. You don't know when it's coming. Keep up the speed also. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's move around. Move around. Still one, two, three. Shh, shh, shh. I don't even need to call it because you know they're all one, two, threes. Just wait till you see it. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. Might be on different angles. Shh, shh, shh. Stay with me. Move around with me. Shh, shh, shh. Move across your house. Get that damn couch out of the way. Go through the freaking wall if you have to. Punch a hole in the wall if you have to just don't punch the screen so you're not going to see shit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep moving, keep moving. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. And time. Now you're going to go four, five, six. So four is your right uppercut, right hook. Six is your left uppercut. Sorry, four, five, six. Four is your right hook. Five is your left upper. Six is your right upper. So the way we're going to do that is four, five, six. So let's go slow motion. Four, throw it. Now throw a five, left upper cut, right upper cut. Right hook, left upper, right upper. Four, five, six. Let's do it. Four, five, six. Move around with me. We're going right to moving. Four, five, six. See one at a time. Bang it when you see it. Four, five, six. Hit it, hit it as we're moving. Boom, boom, boom. You got to react. You got to respond. It means you got to stay light on your feet and stay focused the entire time. Shh, shh, shh. Breathe in your punching out. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. It's up high. Four, five, six. I'll get those hands out of the way. Shh, shh, shh. Give you a one clean, solid target. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Respond to it. Respond to it. Move with me. 
Move, move across the floor. Boom, boom. Four, five, six. There it is. Four, five, six. Pop, pop, boom. Right hook, left upper, right upper. You're coming right underneath that target and the hook, you're coming right across into it. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. One more, one more hard. And time. All right. We're going to go right into an exercise drill. You're going to do a squat thrust at the top. Every time you come up, you're going to run and punch for four. So high knees and straight punches just for four. Your knees are pumping high. I come back here so you can see my legs. You'll be here, run and punch for four every time you come up from the squat thrust. So the squat thrust is here. So you're going to squat thrust down, squat down, jump back, jump in, come up for the run and punch for four. We're going for 60 seconds. Let's go in three, two, one, and go. Squat thrust to run a punch for four. So you're going down on that squat thrust. Come up, they're straight. Don't worry about the mitts, you don't need the mitts this time. This is just to get some fast pace, energy punching in, go. We're going for 60 seconds, you got 50 more seconds to go. Squat thrust, run a punch. All the way down there, squat thrust back, come up, and run a punch for four. Right back down, go to it, go to it. Make sure you're going fast on that four punches while your knees are pumping up high. So you're getting high knees while you're throwing those four punches. Squat thrust. Squat straight down. Jump both feet all the way back. Jump in. Come up. And then get that running punch. Let's go. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Full speed. Full speed. Faster pace. Squat thrust. Run and punch. Down. Back. In. And up. Pump that run and punch out. Pump it out a little faster. You got 20 seconds. Keep rolling. One, two, three, four. Every time you come up. So that should be fully extending all four punches. Every time you come up, but full speed. While your knees are pumping up and down. Let's go. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Squat thrust, run and punch. Go down, out, in, and up for four. Pop, 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 pop. 10 seconds. Finish strong. Finish strong, freaks. Keep it rolling. Down, out, in, up, and pop, 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 pop. Last one, one more, one more time. And pop, 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 time. All right, you're going now just to jummy jacks while I get the gloves back on. So just jumping jacks right here. Jumping it out, you don't need any freaking break. Jumping jack while the gloves come back on. Keep jumping. Bouncing your step. Keep on jumping. So we're gonna combine your slips and your ducks together based on when the punches come at you. I'll show you exactly what it is. So now it's gonna be a four count defensive drill. Right? So I'm gonna throw straight, straight, hook, hook. So you're gonna slip, slip duck, duck, all right? So I'm gonna throw straight, you're gonna slip under it that way, or slip outside that way. I'm gonna throw straight here, slipping outside that way, then I'm throwing hook here where you duck under, and then hook here when you duck under. So again, you're gonna go slip this side, slip this side, then duck, duck. Got it? Let's roll. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Get underneath that side, side, duck, duck. I'm gonna go nice and slow here in the center where it's on kind of a tempo, but then after that, you're gonna have to react to it. Be aware of your surroundings. Let's go. Nice and slow and deliberate here for you. Slip, slip, duck, duck, right in the center. Nothing for you to think about. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Nice and huge, wide, looping hooks for you to duck underneath just to get into the flow. Slip, slip, duck. Duck, stay pace with me. You gotta react according to what I'm throwing at you so you don't get hit by it. You don't get to slip and duck on your speed. You have to be aware of what's coming at you. <laughs> Timing is everything. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Get underneath it. Slip, 
Slip. Duck. Duck. Slip. Slip. Get under. Get under. Boom. Slip. Slip. Duck. Duck. So again, you're going slip. Slip. Duck. Duck. Right there. Now it's going to... Now you're going to follow me across the screen. Only do it when the punches are actually coming at you. Like now. Boom. 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 And your slips and ducks better match the speed of my punches. You're going to get cracked. Doing these fairly slow for you. Give you time to react. Time to get out of the way. Slip. Slip. Duck. Duck. Get underneath. Get under. Boom. Boom. Duck. Duck. There you go. Remember, slip, slip, duck, and duck. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Just get out of the way of those punches. Let me get a little closer so you can just feel the thunder, the breeze coming by your face. You know what's coming. Now I'm nice and close for you. You don't have to follow me across the screen. Just stay in the center. You see it coming. Slip. Slip outside. Duck underneath. Duck underneath. Right there. Slip. Slip. Duck. Duck. Come on. Move your legs. Move your head. Move your waist. Get underneath those so it's slip. Slip. Then duck. And duck. Right there. Slipping the straight, straight. Hook. Hook. Getting underneath it. Slip, slip, boom, boom, get under there, get under there, slip, slip, bam, bam. Get under, get under, get under, boom, boom, duck, duck, slip, slip, oh yeah. Move that head, stay light on your feet, give your energy level up. Just stand still. One more time. Time. All right, we're just going to do the opposite. We're just going to slip to the other way first. So I'm just going to throw this punch first. So now it's going to be just straight, straight, hook, hook, which means you're going to do slip, slip, duck, duck to those sides. So slip this way, slip that way, duck underneath, duck underneath. Got it? You better got it because you're also going to get popped in the nose. Let's roll. Slip, slip. Go nice and slow and deliberate for you to get it down first. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Reset. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Get underneath that. You're moving. Just the thought of not knowing when it's coming and have to be so sharp and focused should make you be getting doing more work, more energy. From your nervous system having to respond a little quicker and get to work a little overtime by not setting the tempo and the pace yourself, by having to react and respond with your reflexes. Get under there. Slip, slip. Get underneath, underneath. You're ducking under those. We're nice and close. We're right up in your grill. Bam, bam, boom, boom. Get under, get under, get under. So punch here means you slip that way. Punch here straight means you slip that way. Hook here means you duck underneath that way. And hook here means you duck underneath that way. So slip, slip, duck, duck. Get underneath only when the punches come. We're going to stay centered, but they're going to come a little bit faster now. So be ready. Reset. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Oh, yeah. Underneath, underneath, hands up, boom, boom, duck, duck. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Get under there, pop, pop. Get under, get under, we're gonna go a little faster. Reset, reset. There it is, slip, slip, boom. Boom. Better move. Get that face out of the way. Don't forget, you're going slip, slip, duck, duck. Let's go. One more. And 
Hi. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks, non-stop, fast paced speed jumping jacks while I'm switching from the gloves to the mitts. You're jumping, you're jumping non-stop, keeping your energy level up, keeping your blood flowing, keeping your body temperature up, keeping the sweat pouring. If you're moving the way you should be, you should be dripping sweat. Because I'm not even doing as much moving as you. I'm giving you the targets, I'm still moving, and I'm freaking dripping sweat. So if I am, you should be too. If you're actually reacting, responding, staying, bouncing in your step in between and moving in between. All right, so check this out. You're going to go slip, slip, punch, punch. Just straight punches, right? So I'm going to start here. I'm going to throw this. So now I'm throwing these for punches. So you're going to have to first defend and then counter punch. I'm going to throw this. You're going to slip outside. I'm going to throw this. You're going to slip outside that way. Then you're going to go straight, straight. So slip, slip, punch, punch. You got it? So all you're doing is this. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Easy stuff. So when you do that second slip, you're punching with the same side you slip to so it flows. You don't want to lean this way and then punch with this hand. There's nothing on it, right? So check it out. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Slip, slip, punch, punch. So you're here. Shh, 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 right there. You're going slip to this side, slip to the other side, straight punch. Straight punch, as you're doing, as I throw these punches at you. So you're responding to what I'm throwing. I'm gonna throw two punches at you, then give you targets for your two straight punches. Got it? Let's roll. Slip, slip, one, two. Let's do it. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Slip, slip, punch, punch is what you're doing. Are we ready? Come on, let's keep it going. Focus, focus, focus. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Slip, slip, slip those punches and then throw back. Make me miss, then make me pay. Slip, slip, punch, punch. There it is. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Pop it, pop it, pop it. Shh, shh. Punch, punch. Respond to me. Move with me now. Move with me across the floor. It's the same exact combo every time right now. So you have nothing to think about. Shh, shh. You're just waiting to react. You're just getting out of the way of these two straights, then throwing two straights of your own. That's it. Make sure you're moving your head. Slip, slip, punch, punch. You need to keep speed with me. That's where you're getting the work. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Let's do it. Slip that, slip that, punch it, punch it. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Pop it, pop it. Slip, slip, punch it, punch it. Slip it, slip it, punch it, punch it. Move, move, pop, boom. Slip, slip, punch, punch, yes. Pop, pop. Slip, slip, punch, punch, a couple more. Slip, slip, punch, punch. Move with me, move with me, freaks. And time. All right, check it out. Now we're going to go with hooks. You're going to duck two and throw two. So you're going to duck underneath this to that way, right? Duck underneath this. Then you're going to throw your own hook. There's a phone call coming in. So duck, duck. Hook, hook. So check it out. I'll go slow here first. You're gonna duck underneath this, duck underneath this, and throw hook here, hook here. So you're literally gonna be going duck, duck, hook, hook. Got it? Got it? Focus, focus. You're gonna get cracked. You will get your your head split open. Go duck, duck, hook, hook. See that? Duck underneath, duck underneath. Throw hook, throw hook. Duck under, duck under. Hook it, hook it. So defense, defense, offense, offense. So you're throwing that, bam, bam. So I put this up here, you're, other, you're coming around and hooking that from the side, right? Duck, duck, hook, hook. Let's do it. Duck, duck, hook, hook. Crack it, duck it, duck it, hook it, hook it. 
Yes, yes, yes. Hook, hook. A few more, a few more. Duck under, duck under, and hook, hook. Boom, boom. Duck under, duck under. Bam, bam, two power punches. Duck it, duck it. Boom, boom. Duck, duck, hook, hook. Two more, two more. Shh, shh. Boom, boom. Crack it, crack it. Follow me across the screen shh, shh. every freaking time. You know the deal, jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, why switch back to the gloves? You're jacking nonstop. Not half ass jumping jacks, real jumping jacks where you're getting some work out of it, making it work for you. I'm right, gonna see how much you've been paying attention this whole day. Because what I'm gonna do here is just throw some random punches at you. And all you have to do is slip or duck, depending on which one it is. I'm not gonna be saying what it is. You just need to respond. It might be a couple in the row of the same punch. It might be two or three punches in a row. It might just be a single punch. I might telegraph it. I might fake a punch and then throw another punch. You don't know what's gonna come. You're still jumping jacks too, by the way, right? While you're listening, you don't need a damn break. You get a break when we're done. You get a break when you're dead. All right, so we're just gonna be here. I'm gonna stay in the center here for you, nice and simple. So when I throw that, that, all you're doing is slipping this way. When I throw this straight, all you're doing is slipping this way. When I throw this hook, all you're doing is ducking this way. If I throw this hook, all you're doing is ducking that way. You just need to respond. We're gonna start with just simple, single, strikes that you need to get out of the way of. You ready? You ready? Fist bump. Let's roll. Since we're ready to start throwing punches at each other, let's go. Wait for the punch. Get out of the way. Duck underneath. Respond to it. Making it nice and easy for you. In order, one at a time, deliver it just to get you in the flow of responding. Oh yeah, we tricked you that time. It's just single punches. Reset after each one. Oh, look at that, another one came in the same one. And another one in the same one. And another, keep getting underneath it. Respond to it, get underneath. Or you're gonna get cracked, get out of the way. Oh, I even showed you what's coming. Look, I'm showing you what's coming. And tricked you and pop, you coughed and you leaned right into it. I know you did. I know you did. Get outside of it. Respond. You see a few in a row coming. Keep your eyes on me. Stay focused. Laser beam focused. Duck underneath. Duck underneath. Slip out of the way, slip out of the way. Now, slip out of the way, slip out of the way. Duck under, duck under. Slip, duck, slip, duck. Ooh, you gotta respond, respond. That was a slip and a duck. Now the other side, slip and duck. Slip, slip, duck, duck. Get under there. Go. I'm just going to do single punches here, but they're just going to come quick, all right? So you have to pay attention. Just one at a time. Be ready for the next one. You're not going to know what it is. They're going to be quick punches. We give you hesitation in between to reset. Get out of the way quick. These are going to come in faster. So you're going to the right direction. See how quick that jab can be? So it's right there. Two, you can see coming a little more because the body has to turn into it. Slip, duck, slip, 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 duck, 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 slip, 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 duck, slip, duck, slip, duck, slip, duck. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you better be moving. You better be getting out of the way of these damn punches. Ooh, 
Pop that. Snuck that one in there. Just get out of the way. And time. What you need to do now is you're going to do a squat thrust for 60 seconds. A squat thrust to two plank and punch. So at the bottom position of the squat thrust, you're going to hit two plank and punch. I'll move back so you can see me hopefully on the Facebook. So when you squat thrust down and you're down here, you're going to throw two punches. And jump back in and come up. Every time you're down there, throw a different variation of the two punches. Either go a left, right. Next time, go right, left. Next time you're down there, go left, left. Next time you're down there, go right, right. Just rotate between a different two strike combination every time. So it's squat thrust, it's a plank and punch, 60 seconds, full speed, burn yourself out, going in three, two, one, go. Begin, so it's, again, squat thrust, punch, punch, jump back in and come up. All out, all out, all out, down, out, in and up. Don't forget, every time you're down there, jump your feet all the way back to the full push up position and two punches. Mix up the variation of two. So if you did left, right, now go right, left. If you did that, go left, left. Next time you're down there, go right, right. You're still going, you're still going. You got 45 seconds to go. It's squat thrust, so plank and punch. Keep it moving. So you're going down. While you're down there, oh, you can't even see me out here. I'll reach up to the sky, two punches, and then squat thrust back up. We are close range today, so you can see those punches coming at you to respond to. So unfortunately, when that happens, the floor stuff doesn't work. We're going up and down. So squat thrust, you got 30 seconds, 30 seconds, squat thrust, sub plank and punch. Squat thrust, and this time hit two of the same arm. If you didn't do that yet. If you didn't do two lefts, do two lefts, two rights, mix it up. And if you don't hit the same or the right rotation, you repeat something in a row, it doesn't matter. The main thing is to keep moving for these last 15 seconds, all out, all out, every bit of juice you got left. Let's go freaks, down, jump back, two punches, jump in, stand up, keep it rolling, keep it flowing. Got 10 seconds, 10 seconds, finish it off strong. Finish it off strong. And three, two, one, boom, done with those. You're gonna now do run and punch for just 30 seconds, all out, running high knees, straight punches as fast as you can. If you have a bag, you hit the bag, or in the air, or just hold your weights. Run and punch, 30 seconds, going in three, two, one, and go, go. You're going full speed, high knees, straight punches right down the middle. See, I'm going full speed. You can see my arms are extending full speed, still getting a snap on them, still rotating the fist and the wrist while I'm pumping the high knees. So let's keep banging those out. 30 seconds. Pump it, pump it, full speed. Full speed, you got 15 to go. 15 to go, keep those knees pumping, thighs are getting parallel to the floor. All out on those punches. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, you're done for the day. All out, speed, pump. Five, four, three, two, one. Time, hairy knuckle, fist bump. And listen, if it felt confusing to respond to those punches, save this workout, record it, try it again. Now that you know what, what, what's needed and take it a little more serious and move quicker. This type of workout, which seems like it would be less work than other ones where we're just throwing you know, mindless punches for an hour straight, 